What's up trading nerds and welcome back to my new series from zero to algo trader. A series in which I start from scratch and develop my own backtesting and algo trading framework. This week I have structured and built a database for the financial data. I want to be able to store open, high, low, close and volume data in a database for many different symbols. In my first intuition I thought I would need to create one database for each symbol. But after some intense research, I decided to store the data of all symbols I want to track in a single table. Therefore, each row represents one specific candle for a symbol. Each candle can be uniquely identified by a symbol ID together with the timestamp of the candle. The symbol ID acts as a foreign key and is just an integer. In a second table, I use the symbol ID as a primary key. In this table, I can store more detailed information about the symbol, like the actual trading pair, the exchange and the type of market to which the symbol belongs to, forex, crypto or stocks. The database is built in TimescaleDB, which is an extension of Postgres, Postgres, PostgreSQL. PostgreSQL. This is intended to be a very efficient database for time series data. I have never used it before, neither PostgreSQL, but I'm familiar with MySQL. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get started. And for now, I don't need to use the fully functionality of TimescaleDB, but having the ability to easily extend it is very cool in my opinion. With TimescaleDB, I could later request tick data from a broker store it in a database and automatically calculate candles based on this data. This would have the advantage that I would not have to constantly request candles from the broker. Additionally, I could already do calculations based on the intra-bar data. But for now, I'm only storing one minute data in my database. To be able to test strategies for different timeframes, I will later program a function to merge several one minute candles to get candles for a higher time frame. I also started to write some Python code. I wrote a utility function to access the database, insert new markets and candles. And I didn't want to end this episode without having any data in my database. So I found an open source module called TV Data Feed Live to pull TradingView data. I didn't manage to use it with a logged in account, which would give me access to much more historical data, but this should be enough for now. I downloaded 28 forex pairs and BTC USD, which gives me a total of 383,000 candles in my database. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next episode.